Hey everybody, it's Brett here with the Tuning School. I'm here with Bob, and we are extending our fuel series by testing injections. Mm -hmm. And on deck today, we are starting with water, and we're gonna be using it with 93 octane. And you guys will see the result of that next. Alright, so we're going to be testing water today and we're going to be going over the results of that. But before we yep. get started, let's talk a little bit about the reason why we're doing it this way and how we're doing it. Sure. It's because everybody wants to know everything. I, I agree. I, I want to know everything That's the short description too, yeah. of the why. So when we first started the fuel series, we thought, okay, we'll test a couple fuels. And then it kind of blossomed and bloomed. And we did talk about it in the beginning. So we're here. Now's the time. Yes. Um, people want to know is, uh, you know, how does pump gas compare to race fuel, compare to ethanol type fuels, mm -hmm. compare to uh, liquid injection mm -hmm. on things like pump gas? Yeah. So here we are and we're testing it. Absolutely. So we're just really here to see yeah. at the end of the day, what's the best thing to All run. Rounds. Yeah. Right. So absolutely. And, and as just as a base point for what we're doing here, mm -hmm. we're going to use 93 on all of them. Yeah. For all the liquid injections. Yeah. So. And, and the really the way that we're going to base things off of is does it make better power than 93? Then right. yes, it's an improvement. Right. And then, you know, we, we kind of will compare we'll to some race seals along the way. Yes. But as we touch test each of these, it's only going to be on 93. Correct. So that's kind of how we'll build our baseline that Correct. way. Um, we're going to start with water because we're kind of banking on that'll be the thing that makes the least power. We but don't we don't know. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. But we're going to start with that. Um, I said before in the last video that we are using a snow mm -hmm. meth kit mm -hmm. on the C7. Yep. Um, and what we are actually doing is we are running uh, speed density. Yes. And can you explain to everybody why we yeah. ended up going this So route? the C7s, the Gen 5 ECMs and whatnot, they're very sensitive on the math. Uh, the previous stuff, like a Gen 3 or a Gen 4, you could typically spray through the MAF on, uh, you know, say, uh, meth injection. Mm -hmm. you know, we've seen people do it. Some people have struggles. Most of the time it's okay. Um, but with this particular setup, the where, where the nozzle is, where the MAF is, it's just a bad combo because yeah. the MAF kept getting soaked. And, yes. and, you know, if you've been to any of our classes, we don't like spraying things on the MAF. No. So, you know, the thing is, it, it is what it is until we can re have it relocated. Um, yeah. But we had to run speed density, so that means turning off the math and running our, our fuel based yeah. off that. And that really means no different power. No. We're not going to see any sort of power difference. But the one thing it right. did mean, unfortunately, is we're not going to be able to quantify IETs right. during this test because it was the math. Mass. Yeah, basically the way it works is the nozzle, um, it was indeed after the math, but it was so close to the math that the math would get fogged. So sure. sometimes it wouldn't always fog it consistently. Right. And so you actually, in the test results, you will see some IET differences, right. but they're not always consistent. So just yeah. keep that in mind as we're Because the forward. IAT sensor is built into the MAF. Yes, on all, you know, Gen, gen, five gen yeah. fours yeah, and gen four up, really. Yeah. So, um, yeah. so I think that that pretty much covers everything that we're going to cover in these next couple of videos. Mm -hmm. um, I think from here we can pretty much just jump into yeah. what the results were. Sure. So as far as what it is, um, this is just distilled water, correct? Distilled water straight out from CVS Farms. See, yeah, there we Free go. Plug. There you go. So there's nothing really special about it. This is kind of a trick that hot rodders have done for a long time. Sure. You were saying that they've done this back since World War II? Yeah, in airplanes. Okay. Uh, you know, back in World War II. So uh, I think it was the Germans actually that started with it. And they were putting it into their airplane engines for more power. Okay. You know, so quench the combustion a little bit and keep everything cool so that they could run more, more power through it. Okay, without awesome. detonation. Yeah, awesome. All right. Yeah. So, that, I mean, this is something that's been practice for a long right. time, how hard have been doing it, um, and there's really nothing special about it, it's just water. So let's talk about numbers. Sure. So we're going to use the 93 baseline test that we yep. had from before, yep. and when we're looking at that, it made 574 horsepower and 500 foot-pounds of torque, right? Yep. That's Correct. what we've got here on our chart. Yep. So when we look at how much water made, mm -hmm. we're looking at 577 horsepower and 514 foot-pounds of torque. Sure. So we didn't gain that much horsepower, but we did gain a decent amount of torque. It's a little bit misleading um, because at the very top of the chart, they did kind of cross over. Mm -hmm. So if you look peak to peak, you go, oh, well, it's not that much. But through most of the range, you'd find it picked up about 14, 15 horsepower and the same on the torque mm -hmm. um, up till that very peak point. Yeah. Um, so it gained pretty well just for water. It's better than I expected. And we did have to run some more timing. Uh, so we're up around 21. Yeah. And, that's, and that's the reason why we yeah. got that little bit more horsepower, I think. Correct because we were able to get from 15 to 21, 22 yeah, degrees. Absolutely. Um, and I think that's where we saw that power gain from. Right. And I don't think we're seeing huge power gains because there's not a lot of energy. You're not going to get energy out of yeah, the water. Absolutely. Uh, as opposed to when you run the timing up using a race fuel mm -hmm. um, or perhaps some other type of injection like 
meth or boost juice as we're about to find out. Yeah, absolutely. And so, you know, from our knowledge and from what we're used to dealing with and what we know, mm -hmm. the, really this isn't so much like it's going to really add anything to your combustion as much as it, it's going to cool everything. Quench. Yeah. And so by cooling everything, you're going to be able to run more timing because you're, you're yeah. you know, prohibiting pre-detonation by sure. cooling. Sure. And, you know, it's important to know people are going to have to buy a $500-ish meth injection meth kit, kit yeah. mm -hmm. uh, to run any of these liquids we're talking about. Yeah. And that's what we were going to kind of, you know, in the fuel series, we talked mm -hmm. about applications. Right. Well, the application for this is kind of all the same. You have a meth kit or you don't. You do or you don't. Um, and a lot of times what we see, if you're a guy who's thinking about buying a meth kit, mm -hmm. Widely used in drag racing. Sure. Um, anything and, grudge and racing. And actually, daily driving, you know, one of the reasons people love, you know, meth injection is mm -hmm. it's not on unless you're at full throttle. Yes. So you're yeah, not absolutely. consuming like you would be consuming race fuel all the time or yeah. an ethanol based fuel all the time. It's only used at full throttle. Yeah, absolutely. So it's good for daily driving. For and, that, and that's a really great thing. Mm -hmm. All right. So, pros and cons. We're going to talk a little bit about that for this particular water setup. Mm -hmm. uh, cons. Not really anything. Obviously, in our particular application, the math, get, right. uh, math getting soaked was a sure. little bit of an issue. So we had to run speed density. Right. If you're just aware of your setup when you first set these things up, you wouldn't have a problem if you set it you up would properly. Be okay. yeah. And really, the right way to do it is to separate out an IAT sensor, which is what a lot of guys do mm -hmm. when they build this, uh, and they'll put a real, like a Gen 3 type IAT sensor, yeah. up down, you know, down the line further, so you get a real true measurement of intake air temperature after I the you. cooling has had an effect. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. All right. So... That pretty much sums it up. Yeah. Uh, we the pros really quickly obviously are decent power, more games. timing, more power. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we yeah. didn't see any detonation, and we were able to get more timing. The more water's power. relatively cheap, so you're not spending a fortune on it. Nope. Um, consumption of that depends on you know your right foot, how much in every day if you drive it. You mm -hmm. know, um, so the cars I've ever had that were meth injected. Um, we would see about a gallon every three to five days of mm -hmm. use of daily driving. And that's just, you're going to punch it a couple times on the way to work, yeah. a couple times home, and that's going to consume about a gallon every three to five days. Makes so water, it's not that expensive. Yeah, makes perfect sense. Yeah. All right, very cool. So that's not too bad. One last thing I kind of want to touch on is this was a little bit lower than what we were seeing from some of our race fuels. Yes. Um, so if you look at the chart, uh, on our race fuels, we'd get up to, you know, even C9, which sure. was a, a really low baseline. Sure. It was 579. So we sure. got a few more horsepower with sure. C9. And but you didn't like have that. the torque either. We didn't have the torque. We do so, now. You know, and some of the other ones kind of distinguish themselves even further up into, mm -hmm. you know, the 600 range a lot sure. of times. So like um, MS-103. You know, you got 602 horsepower, 526 right. foot-pounds. Um, yeah, I mean, the race fuels are adding some energy there. Yeah, absolutely. There's, there's Where the cool. water is not really You're not getting that. You're just getting stuff. the cooling effect of it. Absolutely. It makes perfect sense. Yeah. All right, so that pretty much wraps up this video. Yeah. Up next, we're going to be talking about Snow's Boost Juice. Yep. That is a mix of water and meth. Mm -hmm. And it should be pretty interesting. It's yeah. going to be tested with 93, and yeah. we, sh we can't wait to see what happens. See the power. All right, awesome. So for more high-performance tuning knowledge, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media, and as always, stay tuned.